Alright guys, it is Sapphire Rose 98 Gaming back for my second attempt to record this video and currently I actually see my skin worked. That is awesome, let me see. Yes, it finally worked. Okay, I was having problems with this the other day. So this video is going to be showing you what my plot looks like with the texture pack I'm using and the and the shader pack separate and then together so as we see we're in regular vanilla 1.12.2 minecraft default default texture pack i'm going to give a quick fly around and then when we have everything together we'll do a full exploration of the plot which i still have to finish building some things I sometimes with the regular texture pack the windows disappear yeah and then there's still a big old chunk over here that I still got to get some building done so at the recording of this particular video I will be graduating in a couple of weeks which means things are gonna be hectic yet again and I am so sorry for not posting a video in over a month except for the day of recording this video those videos y'all saw that came out the day of this recording, those were about a week and a half old. So I'm recording some new content. So yeah. And also a quick skin check. So I did some fixing. I, oh, I mean, because I have actually added Optifine, I can zoom in on myself. So we can finally see the scar on my shoulder here and the scar under my eye, which plays in with our story. If we flip around to the back, we don't have the extra pair of wings anymore. All right. And obviously I have my fireworks part. It's one of my only gadgets on in my favorite. You now because of that, and now I'm going to go in to show y'all what shaders looks like on here. So it's in video settings. This is the current shaders I'm using, BSL, this particular version. I have done some editing so it runs better on my laptop, which y'all can see the graphics card I have that came with this laptop. Fair warning, it is still a slight bit glitchy, but once I graduate and get my own apartment, hopefully either by the beginning of June, hopefully by end of May, beginning of June, I'll have my own apartment. And actually have a monitor set up where I can have everything a lot more smoothly. So let's turn that on. Give it a second to switch. Once it switches. Come on. It takes a second. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry for the random noises. There we go. Like I said in my live stream the other night, I am working with a new headset. So you're about to see what my Minecraft looks like with shaders. It is heckin' bright. But it gives a far different experience. We actually have a sun and clouds, which... There are better clouds, but I'm not going to run that feature because I don't want to crash my laptop. But it's just like the effect. I'm like, look, I have a shadow. Like, it's obvious, but recording our series since I found the shaders and everything has been so much better. I mean, look at the house. Like, obviously, this is still vanilla Minecraft with shaders. But... Let me show you what it looks like when we change the time of the day. So right now we're in the afternoon. Here is dusk. Oh, that's so pretty. And then we're going to change it to night. Oh. And then back to morning which I find is one of the most beautiful times here I mean, look at that warm glow and I'm back 
to afternoon. And now we're going to add on the texture pack, which I don't think y'all, if y'all seen some, most of our previous videos, it's using that texture pack. This texture pack, I'm about to show you, oh, wrong button, my bad. So I use the Naturalism, Natural Realism texture pack. Fair warning, this texture pack is amazing, but it makes the villagers look really weird, which I'm not going to show y'all. But it makes the textures look amazing. Which is going to take a second for it to load. Because once I get done showing it off here, I want to hop over to a couple other plots and see how it looks. So it gives like this natural, like medieval sort of vibe. Oh, I love this. I mean, look, it changes the rose bush. Like, I love the look of a lot of the flowers with this texture pack. It's just some I wish it did a little better on, like the Oxidaisy. It's cute, but I might find another texture pack just for flowers to layer over it to make them look a little better. And I did a lot of the, a lot of the building was done in mid between this version of Minecraft, which I'm playing on, and the latest version. So, yeah. Oh gosh, I gotta fly. Come on. There it goes. There we go. The colors of the flowers are honestly a lot more vibrant, which I absolutely love. So yeah. It just makes it so much more, I don't know, realistic for me. And excuse me, my phone just buzzed. Okay. I still have to work on lighting in here, which means I gotta make a chandelier. I have completely forgot how dark it is up here with the shader pack on. Yeah, and torches won't fly. Eh. But yeah. As y'all saw on the live stream, I kinda did a walkthrough on this on the plot, but I never went to some of the rooms. This is like the storage room, which is supposed to have like a a hidden door dealio, but pistons aren't allowed on the server for my interior. And the little stairway I built up into the DJ booth. It is rainbow for... Well, rainbow is amazing, and also it was kind of like a little nod to my animatronic pride. And one of the first videos I have on this particular plot is actually... Me and several friends building this building. This was the second building on the plot. And all of these came along the way. Because y'all probably see it from his perspective. His, his texture pack with his resource. His shader pack is probably more digital and high techy than mine. Because he has a laptop that can handle Computer. English. Computer that can handle it. But I just love how it just... I gotta work on lighting this place up better. But yeah, it just makes it so much better. Like, look at the water. It looks so good. And finally, let's go over the castle. Wait. I didn't get to show y'all this yesterday. So if y'all saw from the mining team, Delta Channel's live perspective, this is the library we've all been working on. Ugh. I'm so proud of this library. Let me turn on sounds here. Hold on, guys. Let me adjust some noises. There we go. Like we got some little hidden reading nooks. And we got, this was my favorite one. I I did one in our my underground castle. So you can also kind of like, peekaboo. And then, and Obviously, if y'all were seeing most of our videos lately that involve my plot, you'll know about this place. It's different because the texture pack I was using in 1.18 
was a different one because it made the leaves all bushy, which was slightly annoying. But yeah, the castle. Oh, I love the different sounds of running on the carpet and stuff. Yes, I know I'm hitting my head. Yeah. Emerald had done a lot, a lot of building here, but I also did a lot of work here too. Which at some point soon, I'm going to be working more on the castle. But like I said, I am finishing up college. I will be graduating in a couple of weeks. Let's see, how does it... I haven't been down here with the shader pack. Oh, wow. That sounds so pretty. Yeah, we definitely need to integrate different kinds of stone in the walls here, but... Oh, I love this. All right. Now let me switch out of this to turn back on the thingy for guest. I have to continue come, come in and out of it to edit this. Back to guest. There we go. Alright, now let's go to my friend's plot, which we all know as the Mining Team Delta channel, where we do most recordings, or the uh, Portal Master main base. Here we go. Fair warning, if it's dark, it's not me, it's him. And it's dark, of course it is. Yeah, this is how it looks here. Always dark. It does make it hard with shaders and stuff. Let's go to hub. <sighs> and land. Once I land. Okay. Eh. Oh, lag spike. That's because it was loading. Huh. My theory is pretty low in the people tonight. Only 38 people online. Let's see. Let's see. Quinny's online. She's a friend of mine. Let's see. I wonder if he's e his house is even... Oh, his house is not online. Well, I can't show you that. But, yeah. I want to go see if there's anything I can get. Sorry for the visual lag spike, everybody. Okay, for some, it's not showing the... Hold on. Okay, let's see. Where are my particles on here? So it's showing some particles, but not all. I have certain ones. To, okay, all particles should be on. Uh. I 
don't know how to fix this, guys. Uh, no. Because some particles are showing and some aren't. Flash bang, jump boots, the gun. What's this laser stick? Uh, color explosion, smoke trail, neon cat, other trails. Things that actually cost money. What are you getting? Color bomb. Okay. I have a lot of the capes unlocked. Wait! Ah! I forgot. There we go. My bad. Forgot I had left the music on. Let's see. I have the bandana. Don't have does. I really want the watermelon hat. That's the hat I want. But, alas, it does not exist anymore. If it does, you can't get it. There's a costume shop. I promise I'll be quick to end this, guys. I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like in here. Here's the FNAF. Ugh, so many stories we've made. Eh, yeah, Fanny. Yeah, these 3D costumes are admittedly kind of scary. This is the only costume I have currently. I don't want to spend my coins because I'm trying to get money for furniture. Now I want this costume because of the sword. And I love this anim this, this cartoon. And there's Edward Elric! I love a spear. And then over here we have Pink for a pink diamond, and we have Fred for panda's bear, and we got ah, we got fairy tale. It makes me happy. And over here, a little more scary Oriental stuff. It's Oni, a Kitsune, and I love the fit. Do they have a tail? I can't see the tail. This scythe is cool. Ah. Uh. Death to kill it. Ugh. We got wolves, moo moo. And why is Roxanne the only one that's over here? That's weird. The most dreaded thing in the world. Eh. Creepy. But yeah. Well, that's all, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and spread the word about my channel and the Mining Team Delta channel. The Portal Masters. And the encounter slash adventures animatronics is very important to us. I will con soon. I will be ending that series and starting a new one, with maybe a second one on the way very soon, depending on how things line up. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great night, and no matter what, never give up. Bye. <laughs>